going on everybody so kayak season is almost here uh, in the past few weeks a lot of y'all have asked the question if other people uh, use or carry a firearm with you while you're kayaking and a lot of y'all said yes and I also always carry a firearm with me when I'm out kayaking um, and last year it was this guy right here or the color because it was fifty dollars cheaper and I don't care about fifty or fifty bucks that's um I mean that's like yeah that's three whopper ploppers that's it's like what seven eight packs of Cinco's I mean it's a lot of tackle two boxes of ammo whatever you want to whatever you want to send fifty dollars on um so empty Mag. Um, but yeah, I've been using the CPX2. Uh, this is a fairly new pistol. It's only been out for, I think, like, like three years now. Maybe two. Actually, the company, I think, has been around really long. I think the CPX2 is newer than that. Um, but I absolutely love this pistol. It's, uh, it fits pretty well in my hand. It's a 9mm, 10 rounds. Um, so it's worked for me all last season. I never had to use it in the kayak, but I did fire it at the range and uh, just played around with it a lot. But it was it was a really, really good pistol. Um, it still works fine. I mean, it's the outside is dirty. I don't know if the camera's going to pick it up, but there is dirt all over this thing. I mean... That mag <laughs> was just black, and now it's just it's rust all over it. It's, it's, no, it didn't really rub off, rub off. Uh, but it's nasty. And that's just because it, it was in my kayak all season last year. Um, so, before we go any further, if you're looking at getting a firearm for your kayak, don't go and spend a lot of money. 200 bucks. That's all you need. Uh, so that was this guy CPX2. That's what I used all last year. It was, it was on my boat every every trip I went on, and I liked it. Um, but I wanted something a little bit smaller. Uh, I wanted something I could put in the life jacket, so that way it's always on me. Versus that was inside my kayak under a hatch. Um, so now I'll probably just do both. That one will probably stay inside the kayak under the hatch, and then this guy right here is going to be in the life jacket most likely. But. Uh, Best girlfriend ever. She let me go to Cabela's and buy a new firearm on Valentine's Day. Yeah, it's freaking awesome. So, today I went and I got the Ruger LCP. A lot smaller. A lot, a lot, a lot smaller. So, dang it. There we go. See? Empty. Nothing in there. Um, this is a 380. It's a little bit smaller than your 9mm. Um, but it'll still do some damage against a fox, coyote, snakes, stuff like that. It's um, all I'm going to be using one for in the kayak. Um, so yeah, it's a lot smaller. It's going to fit in my PFD really well. And, I mean, this was also under 200 bucks. So... This, I'm going to give this one a shot. I've, I've shot one a few years ago. One of my buddies had one. Um, it does have a really heavy trigger. But I'm going to modify that. Uh, I'm probably going to put different grips on it. Put a bigger, get a bigger magazine. Uh, and make a seven round mag instead of a six. Uh, which also has, um, as you can see right now, I can fit two fingers around it. They do have a grip extension where I can fit three. Now, it makes it harder if I'm trying to conceal this for everyday carry, but this is most likely going to be in the kayak, so I don't mind it. It'll stick out about that far. I don't mind um, it sticking out that much because it'll still fit in my life jacket. But um, if you're thinking about getting a firearm for your kayak, please, please, please go get handgun training first. Before you buy your firearm, go to a range and practice shooting. 
see if they do instructional classes, do all that first. That way you know how to handle the firearm from a professional, not just uh, learning off of YouTube. Um, you just, I get pissed off when I see kayakers in the news drowning because not wearing their PFD. I would hate to, really, really hate to start seeing accidents happen because of firearms. Um, accidental discharges or you just paddling down river and then you just start wading in the area and your firearm was in your kayak 50 yards behind you and a group comes up and I mean the odds of that are slim to none. Most kayaks that I've met are pretty trustworthy. Um, they look out for each other but you never know who's who's out there so um, just be smart and the only time you should use this when you're in the kayak is if there's no other option. Um, you don't want to just go out to the river and just start discharging your firearm into the river because that's how you're going to get locked up. So, um, but yeah, um, a lot, a lot, a lot of stuff's going to happen to the channel in the next few months. Um, there's going to be more gun reviews and stuff like that, even though YouTube is against guns. I don't really care because I'm not in this to make money. Um, I just, I just like making videos. Um, so there's going to be a lot more guns. Um, I have about five fishing trips coming up in the next like two months. A couple of vacations. So I'm going to be bringing the cameras and we're going to film pretty much everything. So please hit that subscribe button and uh, keep checking in and see, uh, see what kind of crazy things I'll be getting into. Later.